Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and do a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the Google Pixel 5a and see which one you should pick up. Now I will definitely tell you if you have the money, the Galaxy S21 is probably the better way to go. It's more of a flagship device, you have more features on it, but the Pixel 5a is a very good phone too. And for the price tag, I mean, I think the 5a is a better deal than the S21, although the S21 is the better phone. I think that's pretty much the way I could sum up this video. Now, if you want to pick up either one of these things, the links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side, you can definitely see a lot of similarities. You know, both hole punch displays, but the Pixel 5a's panel is just a little bit bigger than the Galaxy S21's as far as I can tell. And even when you feel them, there's a little bit of a difference as well. So you kind of have to keep that in mind. Now, they both feel about the same in terms of a build quality, you know, which is kind of funny. The Galaxy S21 feels more premium, but the Pixel 5a doesn't feel that bad either. Now on the bottom, they have USB Type-C ports. And up top, the Pixel 5a actually has a headphone jack, which is pretty cool. In terms of thinness and thickness factor, you can see that I think it's roughly about the same. I don't think there's one that's way more premium feeling than the other one. But I think the Galaxy S21 feels a little bit more premium because of this chassis. As you can see, it has like this aluminum metal frame where the Pixel 5a is just pretty much all plastic. So that's pretty much the main difference there. Now on the back, we do have actually plastic backs on both, which is pretty interesting. The Galaxy S21 has wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which is really nice. And the Pixel 5a has a fingerprint sensor right here. Now, I still think the Pixel 5a feels a little bit cheaper than the Galaxy S21, even though they're both plastic backs, but I don't think it's a crazy big deal, and I do give the Galaxy S21 some credit. Now, we do have the camera setups. Now, this is a big thing, dual camera setup on the Pixel 5a, which is a big upgrade from the previous generation. The S21 has that triple camera setup, which is pretty much the same thing as the previous generation. So for a bigger upgrade, I would give for the 5a, but the Galaxy S21's camera, there's, it's hands down so much better. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Now that pretty much covers it up on the outside. Now you may automatically think, oh dude, like the Samsung Galaxy S21 is a way better phone. Like why would you even compare these two? Well, one of the biggest advantages for a Pixel 5, especially the Pixel 5a, is the software lifecycle. I love stock Android. It's definitely, I think now it is my favorite version of Android now since OnePlus kind of screwed up. This is the best version of Android you can get. The software is so much better on the Pixel 5a than on the Galaxy S21. Now, the S21 software, there's some ways to circumvent this. You know, you can throw in a different launcher. You can, you know, customize the icons. There's still a lot you can do within, you know, One UI. But I just don't like the bloatiness. I just don't like all that other crazy stuff. But I will tell you, the feature set that you get on the Galaxy S21, things like that 120 hertz panel, it just doesn't really come close. I mean, this is a really top-notch panel with 120 hertz, where the Google Pixel 5a only has 90 hertz, with the Pixel 5a only has 9, where the Pixel 5a only has 60 hertz. So you're definitely getting a much better-looking panel on the Galaxy S21, even though the software is a little bit different. And I think it's a decent trade-off. It's kind of annoying. I wish it wasn't like this. But when it comes down to both of these, I think the Pixel 5a has the much better software. And surprisingly, the Pixel 5a has a bigger battery size as well. So if you want to get a phone that's probably going to have the best battery life, chances are the Pixel 5a with its lower resolution, well, it's the same resolution, but it's lower refresh rate panel and stock Android, you're probably going to get much better battery life from a Google Pixel 5a, which is pretty crazy because the Galaxy S21's battery life is also pretty good. So that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind. I think when it comes down to both of these, you're going to be getting a much better experience in terms of software and battery on the Pixel 5a than on the S21 for sure. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The Pixel 5a has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 760G chipset with 6 gigs of RAM, but the Galaxy S21 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset with 8 gigs of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, there we go. Let's go and clear all the apps in the background, which I think they're already cleared out, except on the Galaxy S21. So let's get into it. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. And definitely I think the Galaxy S21 was faster there. Let's do Chrome, three, two, one. Now they're gonna be on different websites, but we'll just see how long it takes to load. And roughly about the same, that was kind of bad comparison. Let's do cameras, three, two, one. And a little bit of a difference on both, so we'll kind of let that one slide. Let's do Play Store, three, two, one. And roughly about the same, so not really seeing crazy big differences. And swiping through, I'm kind of seeing the Google Pixel 5a be a little bit smoother. Can you guys verify that? I don't know, that's pretty crazy. Now let's get into some of these third-party apps that we always have. Let's get into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1.
and it does look like the S21 was a little bit faster than the Pixel 5a. And the last update that I did, it actually crashed, I think, against my iPhone 12, which is very weird. So the Pixel 5a was a little bit slower here, nothing super crazy. I always hate these little things that we get. Let's get into a little bit of a gameplay comparison, which I don't think is going to be that big of a difference. I'm mostly looking for the Pixel 5a to see if it glitches up anywhere, and I don't think it will. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's get into Bofa, 3, 2, 1. And I don't know what the heck happened there, so we'll just kind of leave that one background, and we'll just make sure it loads up on both. Let's do Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. And definitely the S21, I think, was faster there. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And almost about the same, so there really wasn't that big of a difference there either. You need some gameplay, let's see if there's a difference, and it doesn't really look like it, I'm going to be honest. This is a pretty weird game. On some phones, it kind of reacts a little bit differently. Let's do stack, three, two, one. And I think the Galaxy S21 was definitely the faster one there. Hopping out of this one. Let's get into Quizlet, three, two, one. And there we go. That one covers that one. Hopping out of this one, let's get into something like some of these other apps that we may have in here, because I think we ran out already. We can get into their gallery app, three, two, one. And I think the S21 was faster to get into its designated gallery app. And that pretty much covers up all the apps that I wanted to test. Now, I do think at the end of the day, the S21 is probably a little bit faster than the Google Pixel 5a. I think both of them are still actually very close. I'm pretty surprised how close both these phones were. But I think when it came down to it, the Galaxy S21 is probably the faster one for sure. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. Now let's go and quickly hit on the cameras. Now I will definitely tell you, I'll just tell you this, dual camera setup, wide angle lens, and an ultra wide sensor on the Pixel 5a, but the Galaxy S21 has a wide ultra wide and telephoto lens. So you're automatically getting, in my opinion, almost a better camera setup, but that doesn't always mean the quality is better, even though in this case, the quality is better on the Galaxy S21. For, in my experience, I love the Pixel phones. They've always had good cameras, but if the Pixel 5a is very, it's very similar to the Pixel 5's camera. And even at that point, I still said the S21 had the better camera right even though other people said otherwise i'm a huge fan of the s21's camera and although i hate the plastic back on both of these to be honest i still like the setup of the galaxy s21's camera with that triple camera now on top of this on the back of both of these or on the front of both of these you're actually getting a much better camera on the galaxy s21 you have the ability of shooting 4k 60 on the front of the galaxy s21 and that is a massive thing to keep in mind you're going to be getting a much better camera on something like a Galaxy S21 than on a Pixel 5a. Is it a crazy big deal? Not really, but it is a really big thing to keep in mind. So in my opinion, in terms of a camera standpoint, the Samsung Galaxy S21 is the winner. So to kind of sum up this video and answer the question, should you go buy a Pixel 5a or should you buy an S21? Should you upgrade? I'm gonna tell you, if you have a Galaxy S21, keep it. If you have a Google Pixel 5a, keep it. I would not recommend going from one phone to the other. But I, what I will tell you though, is that if money is not an issue, and I'll be honest, you can probably fi find a Galaxy S21 or a Galaxy S20 in the used market, probably for around the same price as this brand new, which is pretty crazy to say because that's how fast these phones depreciate. You will probably find a better phone and a better value from a Galaxy S21. You know, this is still kind of a flagship. You're getting beautiful cameras, 120 hertz panel, which looks pretty good. You're getting USB Type-C, which is the same on both with Samsung DeX. Like I said, better camera on here, better performance on here as well. The main advantage that I have with the Pixel 5a is its software. You know, you're getting a much better version of software on the Pixel 5a. You know, stock Android, potentially longer software support once Google switches up their life cycle. And you're still getting a really good camera and brand new price. It is cheaper in the brand new market than the Galaxy S21. So that is a big thing to keep in mind. I think when it comes down to both of these, they're both very good phones, but I think those are the strong suits. The Pixel 5a software is great, and the price tag is great for being brand new, and the performance is pretty good too. But you are lacking some things that the Galaxy S21 already has. You know, it already has that triple camera setup, which is beautiful. It already has the 120 hertz refresh rate, and it already has a really good performance chipset, and the software lifecycle, I think, matches the Pixel 5a now, which is pretty crazy. So unless Google switches it up, these two are probably going to roughly end off around the same time, which is pretty crazy to say. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.